Now that we've loaded the scanning software, we're being prompted to insert the preparation arch into the scanner. So we'll take our model, take the operative model, and place it onto this scanning plate by putting the blue tacky onto the plate to affix the model to the plate. Place the facial aspect over the rounded side, which will face the back of the scanner. We'll just secure this in place. Ensure that all the components are down, especially the die, so that we have the proper vertical registration. Open up the scanner so that these three registration points will fit right over those three points in the scanner. And we'll just lock into place. Close the scanner door. And click next. Now that this case is scanned, we're being asked to mark the teeth. Specifically, the instructions down here are to mark tooth number 19. So we're just going to rotate the case using the right mouse click and move the case so that we can see the buckle aspect of number 19 and place the, a point by using the left mouse button to mark tooth number 19 on the buckle marking. Now we'll just hit OK to move on to the next step. Now we're being prompted to insert the antagonist arch. So we're just going to do the same thing that we did with uh, the preparation arch, but just get the opposing prepared for the next step of scanning. So now that this is this is ready, and we're being prompted to insert the opposing arch. We'll just take this arch out and replace it with the opposing. And then we'll hit next to begin scanning. We now have the same uh, type of quick scan that we saw initially. We'll just go to a front view, mark the teeth, and click continue. Now, the system is prompting us to insert the upper and lower arches. Uh, together, so it wants to get the registration of the two scans to get an appropriate bite. So I'm going to so I'm going to remove the opposing bite, the opposing model. Going to also remove the operative model. We're going to place two arches together in the bite position. And for rubber bands, gently around the case. This rubber band is going to hold the bite together while the case is being moved forward and back and around in the, in the scanner. So we'll place that arch back on the plate, placing the 
operative arch on the bottom that will uh, make it the most straightforward way to do some of the downstream steps. Um, technically, it doesn't really matter, but uh, it does make it much easier if you do have if you do have the uh, operative arch on the bottom. So now that we've got this securely in place, we're going to place the model in the um, scanner again. Close the door. We're also being asked to trim the antagonist model. Uh, this is um, a step that we can do to get rid of some of the unnecessary material. So in this example, we've got uh, we've got some of the articulator in here. So what we're going to do is just uh, draw a square around that, much like we did for the previous selection, and hit apply. We'll see that that area will disappear. Go ahead and hit OK. And now that we're uh, inserting, we've already inserted the upper and lower arches. We're ready to go to the next step. So we'll click next. So now we've got the upper and lower arch scanned together. You can see this, this upper scan is that scan. You can even see the rubber band in here. And now we also see the operative arch down below. The, the question that 3Shape is now asking us is to align the two models together. Uh, we find that the most reliable way to align the models is to use this checkbox here is to click on three point alignment. So what we're going to do is find three points in the operative arch of this model at the top and then also find the same corresponding points in the model down below. So what we'll do is click on, you can zoom in again with our scroll wheel and click on one, two, three points. And then we should click on the same approximately the same three points here. So click on one, two, three points. Hit apply. And we'll see that they have the two models have been registered together. So we still we still see the bite of the upper model, uh, but we've now moved the operative model down into be registered with that with that bite scan. You can also evaluate this up close to make sure that you have a nice meshing of the two different colors of both the bite and the operative model scan. You can see it sort of looks like a uh, camouflage sort of effect here, and that means we have a good registration. If we had uh, one side having just all one color and then the other side having another color, that would, in that would indicate that we don't have a good integration of the two a uh, good registration of the two scans, and then something is probably off. But in this case, uh, we have a nice registration. So we're going to hit OK. Now we're asked to do the same thing with the upper scan. So what we're going to do is go go over to our operative side again. What we're going to do is uh, turn on the three-point alignment. And what we're going to do is select three points. I like to pick the points uh, not in a straight line, but in a bit of a triangle or optimal registration. And we'll pick those same three points up here. So one, two, three, hit apply. And now we have registration of the upper model. Hit OK to continue. So now we're being asked to insert tooth number 19. What we're going to do is take a die plate that we have prepared with sort of a taller piece of uh, blue tacky and we're going to remove the case from the scanner, remove the rubber bands, take the die out, and now we'll stick the die into the blue tacky and place that into the scanner. In this situation, the orientation of the die rotationally does not matter. You just want to make sure that the die is standing upright.
Now we'll hit next. We can then click on the design button and we're ready to move on to the next stage. 